My heart is full of joy now. You know, because as a father, the Bible makes me to understand that I have to discipline you with a rod. With what? A rod. And I want to tell you people this testimony. The very first time I recognized our Lord Jesus Christ, the very first time, he's been with me, but I don't know he's the one. Right from when I was a baby, he takes me out, he takes me everywhere, I go to the bush, I go everywhere because I come from the bush. I go to the bush, he follow me, he show me everything, show me many things, but I didn't know he's our Lord Jesus Christ. Because he's a black man. When I see Jesus, he's a white man, isn't it? But the one I know, he's a black man. He followed me. He said, I'm your father, follow me, come. When there is a war anywhere in the world, he took me to the battlefield. Like now there's a war in Ukraine, isn't it? You don't stay here. We go to Ukraine, go to the war front. And reduce the casualty. Even if the bomb is coming, the bomb will stop. Divert to another place. So this is what he's doing every day. So I didn't know. So until one day, one day, I saw they were doing some rituals. So when they were doing that rituals, they were moving, and I was following, I was far, far behind. I wasn't in, among the people doing the ritual. You know, in Bene, there's a ritual they do. They will take a paper, a paper, and drop it. When they drop that paper on the floor, eh, that paper is a human being. They drop the paper on the floor, it will stand up. The paper will stand up and tall and start running around. So they were doing so many rituals, and I was behind. I said, but these people are they crazy. Who, who is going to accommodate this people on earth or in heaven? This is evil. So I was watching to see what kind of evil, how did they get that power? As I was watching, I was far, they were there. So I was watching, I was going with them. They were going. I was following them. I was not with anybody. So as I was going, all of a sudden, I look up, the heaven open. The heaven open. When the heaven opened, I saw our Lord Jesus Christ. I saw him, now a white man. You know, when you see a white man, you must know. And this is the photo I used to see, that this one is Jesus Christ. So when I saw that, I was say, hey, this man is handsome. I was just admiring him. He wore a big crown, a golden crown, and he has a beard. So when I was looking at him, I was admiring him. As I was admiring him, you know what he did? He removed the belt of the crown. As he removed the belt of the crown, he became a black man. He turned to a black man. I was shocked. I said, but this is the man that is always with me. This is the man. That's always with me since I was a baby. That tells me what to do. I say, ah. So this man is Christ. Ah. As I was admiring him, guess what I saw in heaven? A writing. Have you watched this? Um, what movie I saw that thing? Trust nigga. You know that writing? Eh? Terminator. So that's how the writing came. I am the iron rod ruler who has come to rule. An iron rod. My heart made pew. When I saw that, I was shocked. Then he smiled at me. He said, I'm your father. I mean you and you and me. He said, ah. You know what I did? I just opened my eyes. I said, what is this? I checked myself. <laughs> I said, what is this? 
So when I see that in scripture, I did not say a word. I wrote it down. I wrote it down. 1985. July 1985. The seventh day, the seventh month, 1985. I wrote it down. So after that, I came to church. And I don't go to church eh, until he tell me to go. No matter who you are, you can't preach to me. Never. You are not qualified to preach to me. You can't. So when I come to church, then I sat down. The same man come down. The father came, sit with me. I said, Papa, I'm in the school. Now I call him Papa, because always I call him Papa. Always I call him Papa. I say, Papa, I'm in the school. But why do you move me out of my parents' house and send me to the church? He said, because you don't belong to that family. Can you imagine that? You are mine. You belong to my house. I said, ah, that's okay. But why people have to come and give me money? I don't give to people. He said, because I'm training you. He began to talk to me. Then he got, he came to a place, he tell me, son, I said, Papa, say, I chastise those I love. I said, what do you mean? I don't know the word. What do you mean? Explain to me in my language. Then he explained to me. I said, ah, but how can you say you love someone and yet you chastise him? He said, because if I don't correct you with an iron, you'll mess up. That's why I have to discipline you. I said, okay, thank you. I said, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Discussion finished. What do you want me to do? I said, okay. He tell me whoever is coming to the church, their name, everything they're coming with, what I must do for them. I was a small boy. I came back from school. But before you enter the church, I know your name. I know everything that worries you. And I just have to do what you ask me to do. I walk away. Finish. Your case is settled. So I began to do that. Then I go up to school, from the church to school, from church to school. But that was after I died and wake up. Eh? Anyway, I don't want to go to that story. Because I died before I come to church. When it asked me to come to church, I died and left this planet. I died. Then he bring me up. He asked me, choose where you want to save me. Here on earth or that side. Because he showed me everywhere in the world. Everything he created, he showed me. Under the sea, I met Mamed. Hello? This thing you say, Mamed, is real, eh? Don't play. It's real. It's not a joke. I met Mamed face to face. They bowed down to him when he came. I went to the animals, all animals. When the father appeared, they bowed down. The trees bow down. Everything he created bow down before him. And they tremble when they fall down, when they bow. I said, but he said, okay, do you see that everything, everybody worship me, everything worship me. Why do you refuse to worship me? Even after I've been training you all this while. I said, no. You know why I cannot worship you? Because you're a man. That's what I told him. I'm standing here before the father and I'm telling you this. I say, I can never worship you because you're a man. Because you appear to me as a man. How can I worship men? And I grew up in an Islamic thing that says, never you worship any other person than God. Never. In the history of your life. So that thing, I was trained with it, and I have that blood in me that you can never bow down to anybody. Never. Never. So with that blood in me, I said to him, I will not worship you because you're a man. He said, yes, I'm a man because I make men in my own image. You have to worship me. 
But after he disciplined me, he said to me, okay, where do you want to worship me now? You can see everybody here worship me. And are my men, and they bow to me. Even the mermaid. This is a mermaid. The mermaid. The crocodile. Bow. You know crocodile? Huh. The bow. The mermaid daughter who was playing with the crocodile. Bow. The bow. Oh, this testimony is big, huh? It's big. But it's a lesson to every one of us. You know, I have the power to get money from anywhere. I have the power to do things from birth. I go to my mother, I say, bring money. Now, I need 10 million, 100 million. She will go and give it to me with a command. So the father now tell me that this thing, power, worship him. I can go anywhere. As we are sitting here, I can say, Ramaphosa, bring me money now. He will bring it. I'm not joking. I am not playing. I am not playing. I have the grace. But what am I going to do with the money? That's what my father asked me. What are you going to do with that money? So anyway, to cut the story short, he asked me where do I worship him. I said, let me go back and do the work you want me to do. What do you want me to do? He said, go there and do the work. Save my children. He said, the capture is free. He buried them. I said, thank you, Papa. That is when I, I, I come back alive. That's when I come back alive. Then I come to church. He said to me, you must never visit that house. You must stay in the church. You go to school from the church. This is a big testimony. And this is my encounter with Jehovah God and his Christ, the Holy Father. And the Holy Trinity. So, listen. If you don't discipline your child, they will discipline you. Tell your neighbor. If you don't discipline your child, they discipline you. And when they discipline you, they turn you to a tissue paper. At their old age, you benefit nothing from them. So if God can show me this, and that is when I now fall on the floor and begin to follow him in totality. I follow him. I follow him. And if you're a nyanga, you have power, come to me. Tell me you're a nyanga. Show me your power. I tell you from that day, you will not urinate, you will not poop. And you will not sleep. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Praise the Lord. But all grace comes from him. All power, all boasting is to the Father. It's not about me. That's why I love my brother, my father and the Lord of the blessed memory, Son of T.B. Joshua. I don't know T.B. Joshua from here. I want to tell all of you today. If I know T.B. Joshua from here, I will not be in synagogue. Sorry. It was my father in heaven that told me, this is your brother. This is your brother. This is your blood. Walk with him. And when he told me that, I said, okay. Should I serve in synagogue? He said, no, you cannot serve. What do I do? He said, walk with him. Hey, time come, two of you will now walk together. I said, okay, thank you. I go to church, I worship, I go away. Even this, this brother, you see him here? Good morning, sir. Welcome. You see him? You see him? I know him in synagogue, I never greet him. My greeting to him is, good morning, sir. I walk away. Him. Thank you, sir. May you be seated. Even sir, in South Africa, I just, hello, sir. Good morning, sir. Emmanuel, sir. I walk away. Finish. Finish. That's how I stayed in synagogue for many years. Many years. Before synagogue is built. But then when the time came, my father said, this is the time. I went to TB Joshua. I tell him, you are my brother. He said, yes, you are my brother. You are my blood. 
say you are my blood. Face to face, he said you are my blood. I said where you die, I die. Where you live, I live. Because we come from the same womb. We come from the same father. He said that is true. He said thank you. And Timothy Joshua tell the workers, said do you know if it's not the father who introduced, who brought Isaka to me, I will not be with Isaka. Too many men of God, they called me, they talked to me. Can we walk together? I said, I'm sorry. I can't. But when my father showed me, tell me, then I can walk with you. Otherwise, I cannot. Including Bushire. Bushire walked with me. He was a small boy when he was walking with me. Bushire was 20 years. The first church he preached was this church. For your information. It's here. If I show you the photo of Bushiri, it was like this. Yes, I'm not lying. Thank God, Morris and the rest, they know him. He come and sit down like every other person, he eat food, they buy food, they eat, everybody eat together. Why am I telling you this? When the time comes, he has to leave to go and do the work of his father. He has to leave. Praise the Lord. So what I'm trying to tell you is this, hold on to God. Him, it was T.B. Joshua that told him, go straight to Issachar, don't go to your house. He can tell you people with his mouth. He said, Issachar is me, I'm Issachar. He said, live from, as you learn from Nigeria, go straight to the church, you go and meet Issachar, he's in the church, he's waiting for you. That's when he come to me. From the airport, sir, did you go to your house before you come to see me? No. Go to meet Isaka. Straight. Then he came straight to me. I agreed. That was the time I started to talk to him. And even himself, he doesn't know why. He don't know what is between me and T.B. Joshua. It's only one day he asked me a question. He said, you know, every time I sit down, I say, what is the relationship these two people have? Because even when they went to buy aircraft in America, he was together. He said, call Isaka. They went to see a president. They are sitting down with the president. Call Isaka. They went to see minister, leaders. Call Isaka. He's talking to Isaka. So him is, ah, ah, what, what is going on between these two, two people? There's something deeper. He asked me that question. The only thing I told him, Prophet TV Joshua is my brother. Is that not what I told you, sir? He's my blood. That's all. That's what I told him. I didn't know him from here. If I know him from here, I will not be with him. I tell you the truth. Take it or leave it. I will not be with him. So today you hear my testimony. It's so deep. It's so deep. So I want you to give God your heart. My message is grow in grace. May you grow in grace. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. May you grow in that grace. Grace of having a direct Communication, relationship with the Father. Relationship with the Father. You can imagine me. I live with my father in the house. He say, put water for me. I want to take shower. I put water. Do this. I do. Everything he tell me to do, I do. I'm not lying to you people. I'm not cheating you. I wish your eyes can, op can open. I pray him this day to reveal this to you. That you may know. I'm telling you my relationship with my father. I put water. He can't put water for me. I want to take shower. I go and put water. I put in the bucket. He does not shower. My father doesn't shower in the shower. There's no shower. He showers in the bucket. Some of you showering in the shower. You are too lucky to get the privilege to shower in a shower. Me, I shower in the bucket though. As I see my father shower in the bucket, I shower in the bucket. So you can't kill me. If you think you can kill me, you can't kill me. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'm telling you the truth. I put water. Present this for me. Do this. I do. Follow me. I follow him. He's my master. So what I'm trying to tell you people, discipline your children. Fathers, 
discipline your children. Bring your children in the way of the Lord. So that when they grow up, they depart not from it. The best gift you can give to yourself is to love the Father. And to follow him in good time and bad time alike. And that's what Prophet T.B. Joshua of the Blessed Memory said. Until you, the word in you prevail over your thought, there is no faith. The word of God in you prevail over your thought and thinking. That's what the Bible also put it this way. As a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. What is your thinking? Are you thinking of money? Money will run away from you. Are you thinking of women? Women will love, women will take the little you have and run away from you. Are you thinking of health? Health will not be there. But when you love God, when you fear him and honor him, you have everything in totality. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. You have everything you need. You have everything you need. And never you go to any church until you kneel down in your house and pray. Because many people you call pastors are not pastors. Oh. Many people you call prophets are not prophets. Oh. They are not. I tell you, I'm not telling you because they show me anything. It's because of what I see with my eyes my father showed me. It's because of what my father showed me. So even those of you that come here, go back to your house and pray. And God will direct you. Praise the Lord. Why? Because of the material things. I want to drive a big car. I want to have a, a big cell phone. I want to be a beautiful woman. I want to do this. What do you benefit from all those things? What do you benefit from them? You know what the father said? If you love me, I will love you. If you hate me, I will leave you. If you come close to me, I will come close to you. If you reject me, I will reject you. So that is why many people are suffering today. Do you know I tell the father, it is better I have 10 people I worship with that follow me to heaven than to have millions. If I want this house to be filled with millions, it's like this. In seconds, it will fall, but they will not go to heaven. What's my benefit? What's my benefit? Praise the Lord. What's my benefit? So it is well with us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 15, verse number 6. We commence. Matthew 15, verse 6. Then he need not honor his father or mother. Thus you have made the commandment of God of no effect by your tradition. Do you hear that? The first person you honor is who? Your heavenly father. After your heavenly father, then you now honor your mother and your father. Otherwise you follow tradition. Or else you do what? You follow tradition. You know what tradition does? Eh? Tradition leads you to where? To destruction. Tradition leads you to where? To destruction. Read it again. Take it again. Matthew 15 verse 6. Yes. Then he need not honor his father or mother. Thus you have made the commandment of God of no effect by your tradition. Do you hear that? They tell you honor your father and mother. Your father and mother, they are killing goat. You go and kill goat. They are giving chicken to, what is it called? To ancestors. You give goat. Because if you have fear of God, why are you pouring blood of animal on the ground? Those days is gone. Remember when men were giving, doing those sacrifices, they do not just do it. They hear from God. Until Christ become our sacrificial lamb. Until Christ come and shed his blood. From then, the sacrificing of animals ceases. 
Because he said, if there's no shedding of blood, there's no remission. So that was why they were using those goats and lambs and this to sacrifice unto God. And before they sacrifice, he told them what he want, how he want it. And they have to follow. When God gives you direction, he gives you strict direction. Very strict. He doesn't play. When he said, this is what you have to do. You have to follow it. If he tell you to build this chair, okay, build this altar. You see this altar? You see here. This is from heaven. I am the one who sketch it. Sketch it and tell the man, this is how the altar is going to be built. As he was doing it, he called me. Can you check? I said, yes. Here must be one, two, three. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. It must be three. Thou must be three. They must have this round. They have, must be like this. I gave him exactly how I saw it in heaven. How it must be. And he had to put it that way. He has to put it that way. If he changes tomorrow, he will tell me. If he doesn't change tomorrow, we continue to use the same order. The same pulpit. Praise the Lord. The brother that did this, the woman, his wife, got married. Before she got married to him, that woman got married to a dead man. Somebody that is dead. They pick him from the grave. The family went and married. I said, your husband is coming. They went and put Labora, not knowing that the man is dead. Because they wanted her to be in the house. Yes. I think she's a cousin of which tribe, I don't know. But I can get the tribe for you. They married her to a dead man. They put Lobora in the name of their son, that their son is in the overseas and they want to marry. And they marry her, not knowing that the man is dead. Then they encourage her to meet other people. The evil in this world is so deep, eh? It's in this church. Who was here when that woman was delivered? Who was here? Who are the people that were here? What is the name of the, of the man that did this thing? Um, the wife is Wangile and the brother, I forgot. Victor. Was, Victor, yes. You don't know Victor? You don't know how Victor's wife was delivered here? Who? Who say you know? Huh? Yeah, the wife is light in complexion. Yes. They worship in Soweto here now. They moved to Soweto. It's very close to them. Yeah. The man still called me. He still come. Praise the Lord. This woman was married to a dead man. When I said, ah, I say, this is your wife. I said, no, this is not your wife. This woman is married to somebody else. And this man is dead. In the grave, the man will come every night to come and sleep with her. Even when she was on the road, the men would come and sleep with her. So it was here that we have to break that covenant. That marriage was divorced. And I tell her, you're going to have a baby boy. The boy is maybe about seven, eight years now. That was 2014. That was 2014 here. Praise the Lord. And I tell him, build this pulpit and your life will change. His life changed. Amen. But powers, if you don't pray very well, you cannot be here. You must be a, prayer, a prayerful person for you to be in the presence of God. That's why I'm asking you people, give your heart to God. I have big testimonies. So honor God first. The next person you honor is your father and your mother so that it may be well with you. After honoring God, then you honor them. Because your real father is, 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 the, is God. Not that man you look at your father. But for the, for the fact that God has put you, put him in charge to help you to come to the earth as a vessel, you have to honor them. Because that's the first vessel that brings you to the earth. And the day you dishonor them, your life finish. Ephesians chapter, six, chapter 4 verse 6. I mean, Ephesians... Uh, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 6 here. Yeah? Ephesians chapter 4 verse 6. 
One God and Father of all. Do you hear that? One God and Father of all. Yes, go ahead. Who is above all mm -hmm. and through all and in you all. That's it. That's it. That is it. That is it. Nothing beside that. Nothing beside that. And then when you go down to that efficiency, we'll tell you, honor your father and mother. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. And this is the first commandment with a promise. The first commandment with a promise is to do what? Honor your father and your mother. But before honoring your father and mother, which you see physical, remember there is one whom you don't see, the one that brought you into the earth. The one that brought you into the earth. Yes, go ahead. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, uh -huh. that it may be well with you. That it may be well with you and you may do what again? And you may live long, long on, on earth. the earth. You may live long on earth. Then go for again. And you fathers, do not provoke your children to Do you wrath. hear that? This is now fathers. Do not provoke them to what? To rot, to anger. Yes? But bring them up in the training and admonition, admonition of the Lord. Of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. This is very important for every one of us. And you can, I can go on and on and on in Psalm 103. Fathers, Proverbs 13, Proverbs 6, Proverbs 7, Proverbs 12, Proverbs... Just go ahead, I can name it for you. Praise the Lord. Good morning, church. May you grow in the grace. The grace of knowing who you are with the Father. The grace of developing a good relationship with the Father. This is your prayer. This should be your prayer. Develop a relationship with the Father. Develop a relationship with the Father and with the prophet. He said, and I will give you a prophet after your heart. I will give you a, a father. I will give you a pastor after your heart. Can I tell you? You might go everywhere seeking for solution. If I'm your father, if you don't come to me, no solution. I tell you the truth. No solution. I remember my daughter, Prophet Gladys, in Zimbabwe. She was going everywhere. But the moment the Lord said to her, run, this is your father. From that day, her life changed. The ministry changed. Now they are building a mighty church. They are doing, if you see the church, in Zimbabwe there, you'll be shocked. Yeah, this is the evangelist there, and this is the wife. Look at him. You know? He knows what I'm talking about. Only the well, the borehole they put in their church. Yes, that was 4,000 US dollars. 4,000 US dollars. 100 and something thousand rands. About 120,000 rands. Thank you. They put the borehole there. And when they were digging that borehole, <laughs> it's a big testimony. There was no water. They dig, 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 there's no water. And she called me. I said, no, I tell you to dig. There is water. The water ran away. They have to put oil, put salt. Immediately they break, Pah! the water come out. The water came out. Clean water. That's the water now. I said, this water, people, you must allow people to come and fetch it and drink. People have to come from outside to fetch, to drink. Praise the Lord. I tell you something. When you are close to God, nothing will be impossible to you. Stand on your feet. Tell your neighbor, when you are close to God, nothing will be impossible with you, to you, and for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 
Good morning.